Hi, today we will learn a half split form stand. In the base of the technique is the previous lesson, a somersault through the form stand. Therefore, be sure to watch and practice the somersault first, then return to this lesson. And also thumbs up this video and check your subscription if you like our pole dance video lessons. And let's go! Let's start with the usual form stand, legs in a group position, knees to the chest, sit sideways to the pole, bend over, take the pole with the outside hand, ring up grip, the form presses into the floor. The inside straight arm holds the pole with a twisted grip and strive to lower the pole down. Stand on your tiptoes, lifting your pelvis as high as possible. Make sure that the upper arm, shoulders and lower arm are in the same line, do not move your shoulders or head forward, look down. Next, perform a small push with one foot, lift the pelvis up and fix the position engaging back and abs muscles. It may not be possible to do in the first time, so you can perform several attempts, pushes gradually, slightly increasing the amplitude. Make sure that the swing and push are not too big, so that you you do not move the pelvis beyond the line of the shoulders and form, which I mentioned earlier. But this can happen and that's why we've learned the somersault from the form stand. So if you start to fall, then move your legs more towards yourself, round your back. And you can also slow down the fall by putting your foot on the pole. You can also ask someone to spot you, or you can lay a mat, but only in front of your form. Because if the form is on the mat, it will be difficult for you to catch the balance. Let's go back to the stand. Make sure that your back is also in the same line with your arms, knees bent and looking down. Catch the balance due to the work of the abs and back, as well as lowering the pole down with your upper arm. To exit this move, straighten one leg and lower it to the floor, then the second leg. When you have well worked out the basic stand with grouping, go on to the half split stand. The beginning of the approach is the same, but here we will already perform a swing with the straight leg up. The swinging leg will move forward behind the body and the second leg will need to be bent into a half split split position. Make sure that your back is in the same line with your arms. But the pelvis can slightly come forward, a natural slight arch is formed in the lower back. Avoid uncomfortable sensation. If you don't have a very flexible lower back yet, then just don't lower your straight leg, let it be directed diagonally upwards, so the lower back will practically not bend. To get off the stand, straighten the bent leg and lower it to the floor, then the second one. Let's look at the stand again and I'll explain exactly how to keep the balance in it. Of course, you engage the abs muscles and back as well as the abdominal oblique muscles to keep the body in this position. But the more important work is done by the arms. Once again, the upper arm slightly lowers the pull down and this helps to hold on the top arm more. The shoulders is pressed sideways against the pole and this grip also contributes to balance, helps to keep the arms and shoulders in the same line. The lower form rests down, presses on the floor by lowering the shoulder. It also helps to keep the balance. A little practice, maybe a lot of practice, Everyone has their own way, but in the end, I'm sure you will succeed. Let's look at the element at the back to understand the position of the shoulders. Although the shoulders go down, they are not located on the same level. The upper shoulder will be higher than the lower one. It may be even a little higher, it's not a mistake. So one side in the stand is contracting more strongly, the inside one, and the outside one is stretched. 
It is also important to feel this for balance and so that the body does not fall away from the pole. So we have mastered the basic form stand sideways to the pole in the grouping position and in the half split position. I hope the lesson was useful for you. I wish you success in training on the pole and see you again. Bye!